So y'all know me, right? I'm not going to be uh, calling, uh, texting, sending out emails, all the stuff for uh, Twitter and all this stuff every weekend about the Oval and uh, Sisters. But I just want to say thank you for making it the number one new drama on cable television. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the millions with an S of you who are watching those shows. Thank you. They're only going to get better, man. Y'all got my back. I can't even, I can't even take this in sometimes. Just how you, all the love and support and just taking it all the way there. And the, to the millions of you watching, it's on every Wednesday on BET. It's probably going to be my final message posting about it until the finale comes up because I just, just keep your eye out. Keep your eye out. This show is going to get further and further off the chain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the millions that watched the first week and this week and made it number one. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm still working like I'm broke and I appreciate it. Want to be rich? Work like you're broke. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, just to kind of give a disclaimer, I'm recording this at 6.28 p.m. on Wednesday, so I'm going to attempt to get this video up before Sisters in the Oval tonight, but if it's coming on after, then you know, okay? So there we go. All right, first of all, congratulations to Tyler Perry. I just love when he posts videos like this because it really makes me feel like I'm a part of it. And what I mean by that is like, Jeremy, you're just trying to get a shout out for your channel. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in terms of being a viewer of his shows, someone on social media who talks about the shows along with everyone else. He's giving a thank you to the millions of people who watch it, okay? So for those trolls out there, well, I have nothing to say, but thank you. You're watching the video and actually commenting and disliking. And according to the current YouTube algorithm, you're helping me make money. So, ha <laughs> But in any case... Um, yeah, just congrats to Tyler Perry. This is great to see his shows doing so well on own. But remember, um, I have, you, if you've seen my episode reviews, you know that at the moment, I think Sisters is the better show while the Oval isn't that great compared to it. To be completely honest, I think Sisters should be number one and the Oval number three. That is just my personal opinion. Episode three is coming up. Perhaps after this episode, I might change my tune. But at the moment, I think that Sisters has been delivering more laughs. And I'm not saying that show's perfect either. If you watch my videos and you see how I um, break things down. But here's my thing, guys. And oh, also, congratulations to the cast and crew of the Oval and Sisters. Just congratulations on making those big numbers. And I'm glad to see the show doing well. The show's doing well. So take what I say as a way of giving my opinion and not diminishing the accomplishments of the o of the Oberlin sisters. I've talked about this with Chandler, Melrose, um, and numerous people on social media in live streams and videos and people ask the questions about the uh the has and have nots and if loving you is wrong move into the own network i mean bet or somewhere that's a let's just say bet a major network that you know most people have all i'm saying is this i am willing to bet the seven dollars and 37 cents in my bank account yes times are tough right now <laughs> i'm willing to bet the seven dollars and some change in my bank account that if Tyler Perry put the haves and the have nots on BET, it would straight up murder. It would straight up murder all these other shows on TV. And yeah, I know it's number one on own, but all I'm saying is this. The haves and the have nots is still not known to everyone. I think the biggest promotion boost that the haves and the have nots got was when it was brought up at the Aretha Franklin funeral last year, was it? Was it last year? No. I think it was the year before last, wasn't it? I know, oh, no. Yeah, it was last year because it was during the Ariana Grande arc where it seemed like everything kept uh, happening to her from, like, being, what was it, groped by the preacher, then the Mac Miller situation, and thank you, next. So, yeah, it was last year. But all I'm saying is if Tyler Perry put season one, episode one, The Big Surprise, on BET and just kept it running through season one, people would think, oh, my God, this show is brand new, though it's been out since 2013. The haves and the have-nots would murder it. I dare say if Loving You Is Wrong would do great as well. I don't think as well as the haves and the have-nots, but I'm just saying, I think that if he put the haves and the have-nots and if Loving You Is Wrong, no no shade against Love Thy Neighbor because I think the first season and the half was actually great. After that, I kind of fell off it. If you put if Loving You Is Wrong and the haves and the have-nots on um, BET, 
I dare say those ratings would murder the Oblin sisters. Just my opinion. And maybe if the shows are on those networks, we can get DVD sets. That's all I'm saying. And I know, yeah, distribution rights. That's why you can't have them on the network. Hence why we don't have those shows on BET+. Plus. And distribution rights is why Hulu still has not uploaded the remaining episodes of the haves and have nots and the loving you is wrong. So once again, congratulations, Tyler Perry. Just congratulations on so much success. I hope the shows go well. And as you said in the video, I really hope what you said is true. I don't doubt you, but so far, I'm not truly sold on the oval yet. I'm having more fun tweeting than uh, doing my videos on it because the show, I feel like I'm... And this is just my perspective because this is what I do for a living. I review stuff. I feel like with the Oval, you kind of just thrusted us into the drama without really introducing. I feel like we're getting more drama and craziness than character. It's kind of like, you know, why should I care about this character in regards of a cult or bathroom sex or whatnot if I really don't know them? I feel like you're giving us the the explosion and then leading us to like, okay, I can't think of a good analogy. I'm sleepy. But basically, I feel like you're giving us the season finale at the beginning without letting us get the character introductions yet. But then again, this is your show. This is a new show. Maybe you're kind of doing things differently. But at the end of the day, the ratings don't lie. It's number one. But I'm just a reviewer is what I do. But I'm still watching it. I'm telling you, like, if you're still questioning the Oval and Sisters, I always say, like, when I do Ambitions, I wait until, like, the fifth episode to get my full opinion. But there are some notable things about the show so far that I can't really ignore. But, hey, you said that it's going to get crazier. But just because it gets crazier doesn't necessarily mean better. Same with Veronica. You know I love the haves and the have-nots, but characters like Veronica and Catherine, they're doing these big things like blowing stuff up, sex and whatnot. But... I want to know more about why they're doing what they're doing, their backstory, that kind of stuff. But again, I don't want to sound too harsh after only two episodes, but let me know what you think. Um, are you happy the shows are doing so well on BET? I mean, I am because that means Tyler Perry is just off to a huge start on a new platform, meaning that his new projects on Viacom, who knows what he has in the works, and hopefully I can be part of it some way. That would be great. And... Um, also, do you kind of agree with me that if the haves and the have-nots and if loving you is wrong, I'm not necessarily saying you have to bring the shows over to BET. I'm just saying that if you took like the first seasons and put them on BET, I think the ratings would be off the charts. And then people be like, what's this new show? And then us day one fans would be like, new? This show's been running for like over five years. Where have you been at? Hey, that's all I'm saying. But once again, Tyler Perry, keep on doing what you're doing to the cast and crew of these shows. Keep being amazing. I can't wait to see what the remaining episodes of season one has to bring, which I do believe is 25 episodes of pop. And uh, with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video, comment your thoughts. If you want to donate, hit me up on Cash App or a link in my PayPal is in the description below. And uh, we're closing in on 95,000 subscribers at this very moment. I did find four more Tyler Perry DVDs in the 374 bin at Walmart. So I have 14 DVDs to give away. So I'll do a giveaway once we hit 95,000 subscribers. And once we hit 12,000 followers on Instagram, which we need less than 100 to do. So I'll be giving away at least three to four DVDs by the end of the week. So thanks so much again. And uh, I'll probably do some editing before Sisters in the Oval comes on tonight. Take care.